Well, it may be summer break time at the Ontario legislature, but progressive conservatives are staying active on their liberal, liberal attack. The party has launched a new attack ad tying Premier Kathleen Wynne to ex-Premier Dalton McGuinty regarding his involvement with the gas plant scandal. Let's take a look. And, and Dalton McGuinty. Nothing has changed. She co-chaired his campaign, overseeing staff who called the shots on the power plant cancellation. She signed a key document authorizing the cancellation, claiming the cost of canceling was $40 million, but knew it would be higher, almost $600 million and counting. This was a political decision. It was a political decision. Under win, expect reckless overspending and higher taxes. Nothing is going to change. Authorized by the Ontario PC Party. The 32nd spot comes as the province faces potentially three by-elections this summer, including Ottawa South, the seat McGuinty himself resigned from last week. The PCs say the ad will run for several weeks, both online and on television. Now, for more on this, let's bring in Sun News contributor Marco Glasman, who's live in our Toronto studio. Good to have you on the show, sir. Great to be back, Daniel. Well, I want to get your uh, your thoughts initially on the ad, an effective ad, an effective message? A very effective ad, a very effective message. I mean, I, what's so funny, I first want to say that the, the actual quality of this ad is way better than, than whatever the PCs have been bringing out in the past little while. This one is music, the production quality is great, and it gets a across a clear message, which is tying Kathleen Wynne to Dalton McGuinty, tying her specifically to the gas plant scandal, which has been really a fiasco from the beginning. And, uh, and I think that it works on this occasion. And that has been part of the problem as far as the progressive conservatives are concerned, and probably the NDP, I would wager, at some level, because the, the win has managed, perhaps to some degree, to have separated her, herself a little bit from Dalton McGinty, doesn't talk about him, doesn't refer to him, all those sorts of things, and this ad seeks to counteract that message. Right, I think that's a great point, and you know, that's why the other, the ads, the other ads that they came out with before actually missed the mark, is that they didn't really clearly tie her to the gas plant scandal, but I think this one does that. Look at, look at the examples that they've used. They left out, there were so many parts of this awful fiasco that they could have brought up, but they brought up two things very clearly. One is that Kathleen Wynne was the co-campaign Chair, right before the set, which which actually came as the gas plant uh, the gas plant in Mississauga was announced to be canceled. They that the campaign in 2011, Kathleen Wynne was the co campaign of that chair, the co chair of that campaign. Also, the uh, Kathleen Wynne also happens happens to have her signature on one of these documents related to the gas plant scandal. So those are two things that very clearly people at home can look at and say, hey, you know, maybe she maybe she did have a part to play in this. And uh, and also, I think that this is they need to stay on the gas plant issue. And I think you're seeing that they smell blood on this issue. You. And if you look at, I've spoken to liberals, and I've spoken to just last week on, on Battleground, I spoke to Warren Kinsella, a very prominent liberal strategist, and he said to me, hey, look, even I can't spin this gas plant scandal thing. He can't spin it. Nobody can spin it. Why? Because it's bad news from the beginning. They've had a bad time explaining it from the very beginning. The number kept on changing. They kept on misleading the public, it seems like, and now we have a problem here. So, so I think that the, to the uh, PCs have really picked up on that, and they smell blood, as I mentioned. Is the timing right for this kind of ad coming just as, Cana uh, as Ontarians are going on their, their summer holidays and the, the legislature isn't really in the news that much anymore? Well, absolutely, because, you know, it's, it may be summer barbecue circuit season, Daniel, but, you know, this is an exciting time for Ontario politics. We have at least two by-elections coming up in the summer. They need to be called uh, in London West and Winter Tecumseh. They need to be called by at least mid-August. -mid and we could have a third one in Ottawa South. In the two of them, you have, uh, you know, in Windsor, Tecumseh, and in London, in West, you have two prominent cabinet ministers that have stepped down, uh, D Finance Minister Dwight Duncan and Energy Minister, uh, former Energy Minister uh, Chris Bentley. The two of them are gone. They're, these are these both of these seats are very winnable for each one of the parties, and both have a lot at stake. But all the leaders really have a lot at stake and a lot to lose in these by-elections. Third one in, in Ottawa South has Dalton McGuinty and of his former seat, and of course anything can happen there. So you know, I, I actually see all three of these ele by-elections happening at the same time. I think Kathleen Wynne will decide to have the Ottawa. South election at the same time as the other two, for the reason being, she might lose a cut. She might lose in the other two, so this might give her one to win in Dalton McGuinty's old seat. It looks like, in my opinion, that she may lose in, in uh, London West and uh, Winter Tecumseh. Well, it's interesting because I always compare because Ontario ridings match up with the federal ridings, mm -hmm. and it's interesting to see how those ridings go federally. Ottawa South federally is liberal. Uh, London West, if memory serves correctly, is conservative federally speaking. Uh, Windsor Tecumseh 
is NDP, uh, that, federally speaking. That's correct, Daniel. And, you know, these are these are pretty strong uh, members of parliament, too. I mean, Ed Holder's been there for quite a while, and, and London West is the conservative MP there. And, of course, and of course Joe Camartin is one of the, I would say, the one of the most well-known NDP MPs out in uh, in Winter Tecumseh. So these are really these are really seats that these leaders have to win. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure on, I would say, on Tim Hudak, for example, a lot of pressure on him to win in London West because of that reason, because of the fact that, that you know, Ed Holder has, has held that seat for the Conservatives federally, and and this really for for, for both of them and, and Andrea Horvath I'll mention in Winter Tecumseh same thing Joe Comartin has held that federally. What what it is is it's it's very uh, it's it's actually a big thing for them to win here because it shows the, the liberals I would say aren't getting any lower than this. This is a big this gas plants thing has dragged on. It's hurt them. It's hurt their credibility. I would say to, to, to many voters. And if and if these leaders Tim Hudak and Andrea Horvath can't get it done in writings that they need to win now, I don't know if they're going to win be able to do it later. And just very quickly, it's going to be interesting to see what the final numbers end up being because the difference between opposition and, and government could, could widen. That gulf could widen in a minority parliament. Sure, exactly. And, and you know, it's, it could be, it, and we don't know. This could benefit Kathleen Wynne or it could really hurt her. If she loses these, these two elections, and she, by elections, and she only comes out with one in Ottawa South, this could be a big problem for her. It, on the other side, if they end up getting a couple, they could actually become, a, as you mentioned, majority government, which changes things. This is really interesting here. And I think, uh, so I think all, of, all three of these leaders have really something to gain and especially something to lose in the next three by-elections coming up this summer. All right, Marco, thank you. Thank you.